Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to a chilly day here on Yami Noob. Uh, today, as you saw by the title of the video, we're going to be taking the Street Triple out for a rip on Eagles Canyon Race. We're going to do a quick track analysis and uh, review on it. So as many of you guys know, I'm a sport bike enthusiast. I am not a professional racer or anything like that. I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of track days, a lot of time in the saddle. I own a race prepped 675R and a track prepped KTM RC390. So definitely know a little bit about it when it comes to track riding so we're gonna take this bike out for a rip and see what she's all about but before you guys check the video out be sure to hit the link down below to yaminu.co and find out how you can win this motorcycle for free we are giving away the street triple r the ktm duke 390 and the yamaha xsr 700 click the link down below and learn how you can win it but let's take a look at the street triple before we get it out on track so guys it is a chilly day here at eagles canyon uh it's about 50 degrees kind of windy so i think i'm only get, gonna get one or two sessions in with this bike uh before uh we have to pit in and and call it a day because the weather's really not looking like it's going to improve much uh but what have we done to this bike uh absolutely nothing <laughs> um, this is a bone stock triumph street triple r the only thing we've done is removed the mirrors taped up the lights and we've got the warmers going on her right now because as i mentioned it is very very cold today so I want to do everything I can to try to get some heat in these tires before it starts getting too crazy out there uh, so yeah this is gonna be a really really fun time these motorcycles are really really great because they are actually quite literally uh, the chassis is from a Daytona 675R so as you can see right here the frame the subframe all this component is super super similar to the Daytona it's actually the exact same frame, exact same subframe. Bigger 765cc triple cylinder engine, makes a lot more mid-range torque, but about similar peak horsepower numbers. As you can tell, taped up the lights here, standard procedure for track riding, taped up the rear lights as well. Um, but to be honest, I'm gonna be the only person out on track today because no one else showed up because it is so windy and crappy uh, and they all had the right idea, but I was like, you know what? I gotta make a YouTube video, so I'm gonna be out there. Uh, we are not adjusting the suspension at all on this motorcycle. Uh, from factory, it's actually sprung pretty okay for my weight. Uh, the only thing we could do is set up the rebound and compression front and rear for track riding. Uh, uh, per the manual, but you know what? I wanted to see what it can do completely out of the box. Just take it to your local track and see what it's all about. I think for a lot of people who buy this motorcycle, this is the perfect use case for this bike. I'm imagining, you know, someone who's doing their first track day, doesn't even want to set up the suspension, just wants to take it out, go and have some fun with it. So that's exactly how I'm going to be running it today. So without further ado, let's go do it. All right, guys, taking off on the Triumph Street Triple. My number one goal today is to simply not crash this motorcycle. As it is a giveaway bike, we're gonna take it real nice and easy as we learn what it likes and learn how to ride it. Conditions are absolutely miserable today. It's like 48 degrees and windy, so I'm taking it super chill. I'll tell you this though, immediately the first thing I notice is the mid-range punch over my Daytona. Wow, this thing's got grunt in the middle, man. It feels great. Gosh, I really don't want to push. It feels like I'm on ice right now. And as a side note, guys, you know, the whole coronavirus thing is going on. So if by the time this video comes out, we're all under full lockdown, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Tracking nice, smooth lines. I also don't have any tank grips on this motorcycle. So. It makes it a little more difficult. Oh, nice and smooth here, man. Let's open her up a little bit. Do 14.2, that's not bad. But on our last session, we were doing 213.3. 
So that's what I get for screaming at you guys while I do this. <laughs> Without tank grips is tough. There's also a bug in my helmet now. Oh, this is really tough without tank grips. Yeah, so this bike has tons of potential though, man. It's extremely capable. I also, just for funsies, put a lap timer in the bike just to see how it would do. Now, I gotta say, for race rack applications, this incredibly upright ergo package The upright ergos on this bike just make it just, uh, you know, a little awkward to use on the track. You can totally get it with this thing though, man. Now, one thing I am noticing is uh, side to side, you know, those ergos are just so different from the 675 and a real sport bike. It does make it a little awkward because the rest of the package is so damn good, you know. It's that same chassis, same triple mill from Triumph. So you just feel like an absolute winner with it. But at the same time, because it, uh, there we go, come on. Because it doesn't have, you know, proper racy kind of ergos on it, it feels a little awkward to hustle around. Because the rest of the bike is telling you, go, 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 I'm a real sport bike. But your seating position isn't really like a real sport bike. Down two gears here. Look for that apex, here we go. Again guys, I cannot stress this enough, this is not my regular pace. I put out a video a while back with my Daytona running 213s around here. And you can check that out. See how I normally go about this racetrack. God damn, the mid corner pull that it has is crazy really good. Almost feels like a leader bike, but not quite. <laughs> We're running parade laps here today. Oh, the conditions are terrible. It might not look like it on camera, but I'm freezing, guys. <laughs> I'm also noticing that the gearing on this bike is a little different than the 675. I'd love to go look at that. But overall, what a fun machine. trail it in. You can do all the sport bike stuff you could want with it, man. Turning feels a little odd, but that's also because we're on a street tire, basically. We're on these Rosso 3s. One thing I'll tell you, though, is even though these ergos feel a little uncomfortable, uh, you could ride this thing for lap after lap after lap. I'm not tired at all riding this. Yeah, the mid-range punch in the gearing makes it so that you want to stay up a gear higher than you would on like a 600. Boy, this thing rips. This is why I tell you guys, this is not a beginner's motorcycle, man. I definitely want to see what the brakes can do, but at the same time, 
gosh, it's just that. <laughs> it's a giveaway bike. If I crash this thing, I'd feel so bad. And I'd have a huge problem on my hands. Brakes are definitely there though. These Brembo's work really, really well. I also don't have too much confidence in it because I don't have tank grips. I'm sliding everywhere, guys. So maybe that mid-corner feel isn't even the bike. It might just be me coming out of place with it. Because I can't lock my knees in, you know? Mid-corner is, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah, so because the rev range is shorter, you don't get as much gear to play with. So maybe that's why I'm shifting earlier and shifting higher in here than I might need to. I'm going so slow. <laughs> Better safe than sorry though, huh? Gosh, this thing, if guys, if you do get a street triple and you want to go track it, you have to have tank grips. I am sliding off this thing everywhere. It's so difficult to ride without a set of tank grips on it. An experienced rider could ride this motorcycle just as fast as my Daytona. In matter of fact, there's a guy called Ty Howard who is an AMA pro who recently came out here to Eagles Canyon and on a basically stock Duke 790 set a 204 around this circuit. To give you guys an idea, on my very best day, on my 675R, uh, I could do a 213. So, nine seconds faster on this circuit on what's basically a competitor to this bike. So you could shred on these things, man. You really can't shred on them. But again, conditions today, man, it's just so dicey. It's got such good punch in the mid-range. It's insane. Like second gear will power a wheelie, no problem. I'm sure so many of you are clowning me right now for my pace around this track, but I don't care at all, man. <laughs> This is a giveaway bike. I'm not trying to win any lap records. There's no trophy at the end of this. But yeah, without tank grips though, this is, this is difficult. It's a difficult bike to ride without tank grips. And I will say, because of these bars, um, my shoulder kind of hurts, honestly. Uh, my shoulder, because it's, it was so upright and buffeted against the wind the entire time, my shoulders do hurt a little bit. Um, but that might just be me, you know, I mean, you might not have the same issues with your street triple. All right, guys, let's wrap this up and give some more thoughts about the bike. All right, guys, signing off on this video here today. I uh, got some thoughts about the street triple on track. So first thing you notice is once you take off, the thing just has so much of that sport bike Daytona, you know, DNA in it. Same frame, you know, same subframe. Uh, the motor's just that punchy 765cc, so it doesn't rev as high as something like the 675 engine from the Daytona that redlines at about 14 and a half thousand RPM. This comes in at about 12, so I found myself being in a gear lower than I needed to be, mostly because I just had the torque to kind of just play through and, and you know, uh, go ahead and go through those corners. The thing that really stuck out to me is coming out of third and second gear in some of those corners, the thing pulls like a leader bike. It wants to just pick the front end up, it wants to play around, now it doesn't have the insane top end rush of a leader bike but it just wants to play and have fun and it is such a good bike to use on track the only downside for it is uh, those bars and the lack of wind protection when you're going on a higher speed circuit like here we have at Eagles Canyon get up to fifth gear and back straight you know you, you definitely want something to have a little bit more wind protection and uh, you know more sport bike ergonomics but that's what you're getting with the street right that's what's what you got the street for not the actual race bike um, 
but an incredibly aggressive motorcycle out of the box works stupidly well. The only thing I'd recommend for you guys is get a set of tank grips on this bad boy and you can go and shred your local track no problem. This thing is an absolute ripper out of the box. It's really, really good. The other thing that might hold you back a little bit are those upright ergonomics. You know, the street triple, because it has those bars, even though it is pretty racy for the street, uh, when you get out on track, you know, it's, it's tough to get your, you know, opposing arm over the tank and really get into it and lean in with it. You know, you want to sit up a little bit with it. It almost feels, you know, it's a naked bike, so you're more upright on it, and it feels a little bit awkward uh, taking it through corners. I had a bit of a shoulder issue with it today, kind of stirring my shoulder a little bit as I was getting so much of that wind buffeting ahead of my arms up high like that. So, you know, maybe a, a change up in riding style might help it out a little bit to get more compact in the saddle and have some fun with it. Uh, the other thing I noticed was mid corner, you know, uh, side to side flicking. So if you're coming after right hand, quick left hand change, uh, felt a little uneasy, but I honestly suspect that that was my technique and not the bike because I didn't have those tank grips and I wasn't having a good, you know, outside leg contact with the bike and being able to flick it through from left to right. Uh, cause I've never had that issue with any other bike. And I'm pretty sure this bike is set up to do that just fine. Uh, another thing to note is we kept this bike in perfectly stock trim. So I didn't adjust the suspension. It was the stock baseline suspension setting. So you could probably dial it in, uh, fix a little bit of the brake dive that it has kind of stiffen it up a little bit. Uh, we set the tires to 32 and 32 in the front, 32 PSI uh, baseline, because it's a little bit colder today. I want to increase the pressure a little bit. Um, use the tire warmers. They work great. Felt like I had a lot of grip coming out of the gate there. Uh, that was really, really good. And uh, yeah, the thing just works super well. It's a really, really fun motorcycle to use on track. And uh, if you are brave enough, it will definitely power wheelie in second gear coming out of a corner, no problem. Uh, the front end definitely got light on me several times. So if you're braver than I am, you can gas it out and just start ripping the front wheel up. Uh, but with that, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Street Triple on track. If you guys have forgotten, please click the link down below. Go to yaminoob.co. I'm giving away this motorcycle. This is not my Street Triple. I actually have a race prep 675R that I love running on track. And so as fun as this bike is, I have my own to use, but I'm gonna be giving this bike away to someone. So be sure to hit that link below and check that out. 